I was about to say, dude. Can we go in here? a bit grim, no? <laughs> Hilarious. Well. Jesus. Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Damn. Is that Matt Mercer? He's killing it. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Vincent looks so cool. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use it. You have the authorization at least. Oh, great. Clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? Oh, yeah. A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero, Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Then uh, I've one more sin to atone for. unlocked use it as you see fit mr. Murasaki <laughs> you edgy bitch don't mind if we do I guess damn They did a really good job with Vincent. Is he snoring? They did a really good job with Vincent. Is this box going to be the same thing? I think it is a turbo ether in the old game too. Yeah, Matt Mercer is literally perfect for that role. It's- it's wild. Before it was, um, you know, Spike Spiegel. Uh, Mr. Every Anime. And he did a pretty good job, too. Steve Blum, yeah.
here she is. Okay, the terminal's in this room? Cloud's gonna have a crazy flashback or some shit. Cloud, my boy. Still got that key card. Cloud is deeply familiar with this room. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna use the restroom really fast. Hold on a sec, chat. See what the hell's going on here. You can't be rush a genius after all. I can't talk to anybody. Everyone just seems generally happy. Oh, red down here is down here too. That's good. Spooky. Huh? Whoa. Nearly there. Cool. giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt me, please. I can explain. Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. Had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. <laughs> Whoa, what in the hell? We're getting a Vincent transformation? What the hell, Galean Beast? Yep. You're damn freak. 
This is crazy, dog. Come on. Oh my god. This is so crazy, dog. Primal Roar? And an enigmatic man who sleeps in a coffin, shrouded in mystery aside from his alleged profession as security guard, he has transformed into a creature of chaos in an effort to ward off intruders. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him, making him flinch during inner turmoil or chaotic consumption will make him easier to pressure until he recovers. Damn, bro. What is happening? Oh my God, dude. Why is he about to go kill Kate Sith now? is going to save me. The music, dude. Again? Man. Holy crap. We still got a job to do. Yeah. Here it comes. Chaos Flare. Oh my god. Damn it, kept it went full screen. Okay, we have to do this. We have to get Cloud back up and not dying again. Let's turn this around.
stop now. You ain't gonna get away. We're looking cool over here, but we're getting our asses kicked. Any last words? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, what is this Bloodborne fight? Dude, they turned Vincent into a boss battle. Good lord. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. <laughs> Is this how you want your story to end? the temple is let's not bother the man hey space cadet come on Just had to check. Had to check. So cool. And there might be toxic of material given from right here? Is that all you ever think about? Well, it's you, you for trying to be helpful. Back he goes. For another game. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof. Well. It ain't like it could go down. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's on. Yeah. So, <laughs> where is it? Aye. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. 
Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. <sighs> thank you. Well, if we gotta, once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. <laughs> and we are. Not good. I am resting on this bunch. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Well, that was crazy, dude. They turned the Vincent encounter into a boss fight to save him for the next game. That's insanely cool. What is happening? What's this? My God. Understand, I'm defying my boss to be here because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. Cloud, bring me the black materia. Huh? Desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap, so let's cut it one last time. He's mine. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. No holding back. Cool. Ow. I got new stuff, don't I? Enough of you. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. Son of a bitch. Got a bunch of weird shit. Okay. Very hard to build ATB against you. Okay, we got some stuff now. Sinister Slash. God damn it. Every time I'm every time I'm going for counter, he does this block thing. Uh wind current static shock, wildfire, blade burst. I need to ass ass you as well. I'm doing that. I'll do that right after this. Let's try that again. Son of a bitch! What the fuck? I'm ass-assing you, bro! 
Um, the Speed Demon, after having undergone Hojo's experiment of cellular modification, while his capabilities have been greatly enhanced, his degradation has also been accelerated. He bears SC4 tattoo on his shoulder as proof of his test subject status. Inflicting damage after he performs a special attack will pressure him. He's weak to nothing. Can be slowed, though. Damn it, dude. Every single time I go for counter. Okay, so it's a weird gimmick fight. Ow, bro. Uh, I have to figure out when I can actually hit him. When can you actually be attacked? Okay. Damn, the longest loading in the game. Piece of shit. Soul Cleave cannot be countered. To the no. I got your nose. Okay. That's cool. God damn it, bastard. Oh, that's right. Gotta get out of the mode. I don't have anything to heal myself. Damn. You're immune to bio? Okay. <clears throat> Ain't dead yet. Interesting. Soul cleave. But it said soul cheese. No. God damn it, man. Trying to block it. Oh, I didn't get counter there? No holding back. Every time, man. Every time I go for something that is a uh, that is a counter, he goes for the anti-counter. Feeling good. That has a second attack, okay. Damn, my party! Christ, lots of follow-ups. You're out of luck. Big boof. You okay? This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch. Feeling kind of bad here. <laughs> Can't be blocked, okay. Going in.
Damn, is this going down exactly as we called it years ago? The degradation. My friend. That was fast. There's no escaping the degradation. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're going to be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. Cloud going through it. Yeah, they did exactly what we thought they would do. <laughs> he would show us, like, how degradation eventually takes you down. Look. Now we're in the, the Zakaverse. Or not? Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf, the invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier. P-Zero class, a prototype. 
Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Redora on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. Never crisis, Laura, yeah. If you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, <coughs> many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. Damn, look at that stereo system he has. <clears throat> okay. mountains and valleys in between definitely not on foot it's just way too far thoughts kate hey cat thoughts huh? um well you see look smoke Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Breaking news at this hour. Cloud! Chadley! Picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC. Starting to listen to, listen to this news broadcast over here. You're okay. In it, the president denounced the SRC's claims as baseless propaganda, and dismissed their alleged Moscow reactor footage as a digital fabrication. The company has launched an investigation into the individual who delivered the address, as well as the nature of the organization he claims to represent. It's all bullshit. Says Rufus. It's all bullshit. Don't worry about that. He says. The deep fake. Uh, the darling little cat I fed from time to time hasn't come home for a while and is making me sick with worry. I know I can be of independent souls, but you've never been able to turn down a good meal. Cat quest. So we are in Nibelheim right now. 
This is the chef that wants this. Just listening, you've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but see. Hey. Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? We'll find your cat. Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat catching record. Oh God. I've been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way, chef and chanteuse. You might want to start- Fancy words. the foot of Mount Nebel. She's I was about to go there. Beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. Cat food? Cloud Tifa, Kate Seth. Is this the party we were rocking before? I think it is. All this talk Let's take a little break and try again. Right. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. I haven't seen her since the fire yeah. five years ago. Damn. Damn. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, This little lady's name is Fluffy. But he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hard to believe looking at me now. <laughs> Tifa lore. Goats. Get out of here, goats. Foot of Mount Nabel. Yeah, we're going the right way. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it. Believe it or not, my dad made it. With cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. This is a bonding quest is what it is. Damn, this part of the game looks even better than it did at the start. Time of day changes everything. What's up? Kitty! Heard something. Over there. Let's go. Through all the thick, unmovable shrubs. K damage. Holy hell. That power cleave is huge.
Where's this cat at? Up here? Oh, wow. They put a giant fence here. What the hell? It's a cat nest? Kittens? I can't believe it. Fluffy? Hey, girl. How you doing? It's me, Tifa. Remember? You're okay. Thank God. Aww. Fluffy! What's wrong? Cat's hungry. It doesn't look so good. Let's try giving her the cat food. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. Damn, look at this rendered cat. Leave him alone. Jeez. Bunch of dead ass bees. Come on. Assisting cat. Assisting dog. Oh god, not the bees. You can call a joke about out here. How funny. There's a lot of goddamn bees down there. Comet casually on all these bugs. Tifa casually casting Comet with a cute cat around. Let's move. <laughs> damn, look at all the damn cats everywhere. Asshole, these dang bees. Uh, elemental weakness will pressure it. How about the the big one? Fire. Okay. God damn, dude. these things fuck these things well I was like what the hell is this thing dog Died. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Cloud got poisoned to hell. Cloud died again, bro. Bro. Cloud, chill. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. That was a boss fight. Ugh. Okay. Shit was a boss fight. Let's do some crafting soon. Okay. Oh my god, is this a pet the cat option? <coughs> Meow. These goats aren't going to attack us, right? 10 out of 10, no notes. The bridge is over here. Yeah, we have to do the RP walk. Bring the cats home. There's a lot of kittens back there. The patients are all worked up. I'm thinking we might have monster trouble today. There they go. Cloud protector of cats. Well, that was wonderful. Yeah, the red posters and the emerald posters sure have been throughout the whole game. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms. That was amazing. Holy crap. Such a cool side quest, dude. This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments. Did you owe me something? I I killed it up there. To share a performance with me? Um Yo, what is that mystery thing? Finding materia. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the Whoa. piano. Three stars. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Yeah, we're missing one from somewhere. What it is, I don't know. Probably one of the towns somewhere. Did I not do it in Gongaga? Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I don't think I did the piano in Gongaga. I don't think I did. Or Cosmo? No, it was Cosmo. It was Cosmo. We didn't do the piano in Cosmo, I don't think. Okay. Me? Gongaga. Can you really climb up these friggin' rocks? Oh my god, you can, dude. Why? Because you can, okay? Because you just can. Uh, so. That was locked off. You can't go up the whole mountain anymore. Southern Ascent. Let me just check. Let me just check. I want to see. Yeah, they put a massive, like, gate over here now. 
Too many people started dying up here. Where's Vincent? Sleeping. Jesus, Tifa. I mean, that's working a bit too good. I didn't even get the chance to ass ass those dudes. Tifa's not into wildlife. No, I don't have Autocast to comment. I have Synergy comment. God damn. Here we go. With me. Oh, dodge, you idiot. This dog. There we go. <laughs> this dog's like, oh shit. Oh shit. It activates when you use ATB with other characters. You have an unused Tifa weapon? I do, and I also have a weapon I'm currently leveling up to acquire its ability. It's almost like I've been playing the game. And y'all just tune in. Ow. <laughs> dying over here. Gee, trap. Damn, suddenly they just died. Cloud got uh, subdued pretty hard. Okay. Okay. Let's go to... I don't think there's anything else in here I need to do. We gotta get out of here and start doing all these friggin' fights. There's just a ton of them. And also, apparently, a tower right here? Do it. Chicken travel. Yo, Tommy, one time, and Dr. Musashi, thanks for the uh, gift subs, guys. Port. Uh oh. God. And there's my tower. Dead. Hella dead. Uh oh. Uh. I have a plan.
We are shit. Control this chicken. That works for me. Like that. Bidoof. So I'm kind of curious what the heck the proto relic quests are down here. Just in general, I want to see what these guys are up to. The final Mog House, we never have to do it again. Admiral Throng. The robe figures are shambling towards some unknown destination. Find out exactly what it is. Should you wish to give the coop group a nudge in the right direction, you can push them with L2. You heard Chadley. That's the plan. At least till they get to wherever they're going. Getting sleepy, are we? What else? Will they walk? Who wouldn't? You can run on ahead and play sky. <laughs> push this bitch. <laughs> get the hell out of Get over there. <laughs> you get over there. Hey, man. Get over there. They're moving. <laughs> this is such a funny thing you could do. Guys, get over there. Get a move on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> get moving. Come on, Roche. Get moving. Ah. Seriously, guys. Come on. What the hell are you waiting for? I know you're going to go in there. Hey. Hey. What's with you? What's with you? Don't give me... Let me make you give you another push. Huh? Hey, guys. Wait. Can these guys do anything? Walking in unison, they're making a pretty nice line here. Let's just mess that up. Get moving. You get moving. Get moving. <laughs> What's that? A Shinra testing facility. They were looking into Mako Extraction's effects on the region's water supply. And? And they found that there were none. Or so the official statement claimed. Oh, no need to worry then. If I may put your minds at ease, both Nibelheim's water tower and pipe network utilized filtration devices that were state-of-the-art for the time. Furthermore, there was no evidence that water quality was impacted by the reactor. The filters likely mitigated any deleterious effects. Well, I grew up drinking that water. That certainly explains a lot. Sure those filters worked? You tell me. Damn, more water filters. Yeesh. What a mess. Brain damage water. Then they're getting hyped. There must be a buffet. Your own already. What's up? 
Ferocious beasts that have taken up in residence in the ruins after escaping the Shinra research facility. The, they begrudge all humans for experimentations conducted upon them, lashing out at any they see. They will become galvanized at regular intervals. Dealing enough damage to them will calm them down and pressure them. I understand. Tifa, you pissed. So, is that our proto magic? Part of one, looks like. Yeah, Red Thirteen still talks in his uh his wizened voice. Only when he's in places uh in towns and stuff around people that he doesn't know. Oh no, are they going to slow walk across this whole place? Located another herd far from your location. Don't call them a herd. Don't call these dudes a herd. Not nice. All right. Any chesticles in here? Doesn't look like it. Let's make some stuff. Hold on a second. I think I also got some new things that I can craft in this area. Enhanced spirit bound. Um, uh, Yggdrasil. Uh, that takes ash wood and stuff. We get that around here. Mist Giga, or a Giga potion. Uh, anything else we can make? Let's make a spirit bound and the commanders for the XP. We can do more stuff. Okay. Splendent. Enhanced spirit bound. All kind of nominal rewards. I need more planet spirit, okay. Damn. They made Mountain of Bell look super sick. Look how cool these areas look, man. What the hell is that? Is this a chocobo farm? Oh. It is. Bill's here. Huh? Cloud? Billy? What are you doing out here? Um... I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. 
Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of the Chocobo Sage, a living legend. Oh, he's not up Surely in the north? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Did someone say living legend? That's what they translated that weird looking Chocobo Sage into. Oh, some onesie wearing old man. You okay, sir? Get him a soda or something. Ooh, I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? You don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Cramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. Really? We gotta get in on that. So I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? It is pretty weird. So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. So must be some As kung fu master. You, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. I've done that. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild. Consider it done. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. Wow. There you are, Selena. Wow, game very well, smart. I underestimated you. Damn, game, thank you. Skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is going to bother me all day. Oh. Aha. There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about Shake it. that old man. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Jeez. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. Are you kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Shh. 
Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts ought to do. Best 30 tufts? To cloud, you don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> 30 tufts? Oh, Cloud. Have you come to brush up on your bird handling? As soon as I heard the legendary chocobo sage was here, I knew I had to come. Uh -huh. I was surprised to see a recluse residing in such luxury. Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. I bought Comet and I can't get anything else. It's in the combat sim right now. Already did that. Uh, magic up level boost. Another first strike materia. Damn. Damn. Let me just grab that real fast. Let me just yoink that real quick. First strike is too good. Damn this music. You big weirdos. So cool. We tried an Odin take. Uh, full power Odin we did as soon as we got to the area. Took about two hours. No adjustments. We kept them at full power. Now once you understand the gimmick, like once you really understand the gimmick, it's not that bad. Uh, have I already? Yeah, I have. Zara. Jesus. Nice. So sick. Yeah, you can make those boss fights significantly easier by toning them down. I just think they're too easy. So we kept it at the hardest difficulty. Some Moogle magic. God damn, dude. Jesus, everything's getting staggered.
Everything's getting staggered like 12 times over. All done. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted. Yeah, Cheat Trap seems only okay in this game. It doesn't uh, do all the crazy stagger damage it used to. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your. Shut up, Chadley. You shut up. Uh, Kate Seth got the thing he needed. So, golden megaphone time. I could pop this on you now. Uh. First of the striker. And what do we got down here? Google damage by 10%, weapon ability damage, max HP 200, ATB charge rate up. Pretty good. And um, limit break damage, attack power plus 20, and ability damage by 5%. I'll take regular attack power. Okay. Travels. Uh, ooh, buying stuff. To learn from the sage as well? Buy. And this crazy stuff? That's right, you can buy this here. You can buy Planet Mercy and stuff. Um. I got 16 of these, man. Whoa, what is this Monster Hunter looking gear? Holy crap. I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I promise. Hold on. I got blue Rathalos armor set. Huh? Wow. Cool. You can change the color of the whole armor? Wow. Every part of it. Cool. Yeah, I wonder what racing stats they give. I wonder if there's going to be an enemy skill materia in here. No way. Level boost. Okay. That would have been funny. There was an enemy skill materia. Can hang out with the chickens. Hi. Hi, chickens. Um, what did I want to check? Hold Running up a second. This shop is an extension of my training. Bye. How many of these? Do you show how many I have on me? Planet's Mercy. Is that what I need? Or is it the Planet's Favor? I'm maxed out on those. Um... Uh, Owned. I have 14 of these. Okay. I don't really need to worry about it. Divine Heartwood. Expensive. Good luck out there. I can actually make some stuff now. Uh, armor. It did take Divine Heartwood, but I also need Ashwood, and it's Planet Spirit. That's the shit I gotta find, which is probably just the frequent item in this area. Okay. F these boxes. Ooh, I can't attack them. I can only knock them around. <sighs> these bunnies are definitely gonna have something in this area. Hey, since you seem to be in the know, give me this thing. Who's this Sam guy? 
steak shop in the wall market. Uh -huh. So he must be here coming. I don't know. For nail business aside, he didn't strike me as a total asshole. Interesting. And maybe your powers of perception weren't handy enough to see through his facade. That's gotta be it. Oh, if only I had found you sooner. I could have saved you from your own gullibility. This might be one of the most fun chocobos you get because of how much control you have over this, right? No joke. I think this might be one of my the most fun chocobos there is. You have so much control. Yeah, it's like Mario Sunshine. What is in here, though? Lucrezia? Oh. Was oh, this how you find this? It seems we've crossed into fiend territory. Look alive, people. It is. Rare cubal dot variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. Note the distinct shape of its upper jaw. That sharp, many-toothed appendage allows it to skewer prey. The cuboldun then uses its forelegs to bring the impaled meal to its mouth. These voracious omnivores will eat anything they find, including plants, animals, and even corpses of fiends. Depending on what they've devoured recently, their appearance and physical capabilities may vary. While individuals do not pose much of a threat, they can be extremely dangerous in large groups. Yeah. Huh? These fiends will help keep the nearby village and farmsteads safe from their appetites. Come on! Keep it up! No. The ass ass these dudes. <clears throat> Putting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Okay. God damn. HP. Throw up in this cave, though. So pressure an enemy. You gotta pressure him. I can't see shit, Captain. This really uh, threw us into this damn cave. All right. Well, that wasn't good. Okay, let's try that again. I have to pressure him. Um, exploiting an elemental weakness to pressure it. Let's try this. That didn't work at all. God damn, bro. Let's do this. Pushing it. Oh, look. Three, 
Magic megaphone, please. There we go. Completing our combat objective. Though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Getting close on party level nine. Kinda close. Magic chicken. Have a rest stop over here? We do. Let's try hitting this up real fast. Oh, there's a road up here too. I think this leads to the next fight. Water bending chickens. <laughs> My bony ass. Saw bunnies. Oh no, crazy dogs. Oh no. Rare Nemo Wolf variant detected. Oh no. Same guidance protocol. The wolves of this region maintain a strict hierarchy. The pack leader is said to be imbued with an azure flame, which gives its fur a distinct hue. As the leader, this wolf will often distract prey, allowing for its pack mates to sneak up and catch their quarry by surprise. They are Velociraptors. There are countless stories of these wolves turning the tables on would-be poachers. We may never get a better chance to study the ways of this clever creature. So go get that data, but watch out for its friends. I believe it's taking over. All right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, dealing enough damage while it is enshrouded in blue fire will quench the flames and pressure it. While it's not bathed in fire, dodging or guarding against certain attacks will pressure it. Okay. God damn. Oh, Yuffie's in my party? I haven't noticed. I've just been playing Kate Sith so much this entire time. So I have to pressure. Um, the only enough damage lets and shrouded in blue fire. Now, dog. He's a true ninja. God damn it. 
God damn it. Got it. Yeah, Tifa was in the party. I must have switched on accident. Yeah, Tifa was in the party before. The comet isn't coming out. Maybe that's a funny thing Yuffie does. She just sneaks her way into the party. <laughs> I want to play. Stellar performance, Cloud. I can't thank you enough for providing such valuable combat intel. I'll use this data to further enhance my guidance functionality. That would be a great misuse of our resources. Requesting attitude adjustment. In any case, I've utilized the data for a new challenge. Feel free to access it via the Oh, Death Harbinger. That sounds so much time. fun. The Death Harbinger quest. Dogs whoop my ass. They could be friendly. They could be friendly. It's VMJ, thank you. Damn, BZS 10's 70 bucks. Holy crap. You sp Yuffie cosplay sub goal win. Ah, oh, you missed it, man. I already did it. Yeah, I already did all that. You missed it. You have to look it up on the internet or something. Thank you. BZS trends, I appreciate it, man. Uh did I accidentally swap Tifa out? I probably did. Oh my god, chicken! Chicken! Yo, JNL, thank you, dude. <laughs> you did! You missed it. Uh, okay. Okay. We need to start moving our asses over Durr. They run into 30 things on the way. Looks like we can't experience this part of the world at a different time of day, which is kind of a bummer. I want to see what this would be like at night. God. Is this a summon thing? Slumbering within the Nebel sanctuaries is Odin, the patron knight of war and death. He rides in from the land of the dead, astride his steed, Sleipnir, claiming the souls of fallen warriors as his own. Or so the story say. Yes, I killed him already. That's right there. That's good. Where was this thing going, man? I knocked that, uh, the one thing out right here. Yeah, it's got to be up there. Way up there. Damn. God damn. And we already got this, right? Yeah, this one we already got. So many people on chickens. Floating around. Did 
not get this. Yoink! Yo, Sean, thanks for the two years, and uh, Janel, thanks again for the 66 months. Well, thank you again, BZS. Assuming we gotta go up there. This tower. Oh, don't walk. Dang it. What's Gongaga Pine doing in the bell, huh? What's up with that? All right, so this thing is like over here to the right. Somewhere over here. Chicken. Really? You won't go that way? How the hell do I get over there then? Uh, what the hell do I gotta do? Hmm. Ah! Sheesh. Yeah, it's probably got some sort of sneaky entrance to get in there. It's like way up there. Uh-oh. Where the heck did you go? What in the dumb shit? Oh. 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 Well, that makes sense. Overanalyze the Odin crystal? Yes. Yes, I will. Overanalyze. X circle square triangle X circle square triangle Okay, here we go X circle square triangle Okay, my bad What the- Oh, I did it too late I did it too late Okay, this gotta be faster <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, this gives you new moves on your summon. Like new abilities. Time to fall. Yee. Okay. Got a ton of things in this general direction. Look how pretty it is out here. Shit. Doink. It's 
slam. What else is down here? Just a cove. Well, you can really visit a lot of this water. Oh God, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Okay, so I'm sorry. Got here before you did, Owl. Give me that. What the hell was that sound? Huh? Something sounded mad hangry. Look at these crazy ass looking creatures, dude. There's this Birdman just walking around. Birdman. Caught him trying to go get dinner. Aerial creatures with four human-like limbs. They swoop through the air on enormous wings, putting the full force of their weight into devastating body slams. Elemental weakness will pressure. Elemental weakness... Oh, exploiting their weakness. We're inflicting enough damage. Okay. Um, I'm not supposed to pressure you. Damn, Tifa. Did you already get a uh, chi trap? You did. Good. Very good. Unfettered fury. Yeah, this seems crazy. You also have jump on you, Tifa. Elemental lightning and wind. Synergy support is also really dang good. I'll have to start using that on other characters. Petrify materia, gravity, binding. Oh, I got one of those maxed out. Jesus. So good. Something that'll rank up. What does this do? Increases damage dealt by unique abilities by 15%? Shit. Increases damage added to attacks by elemental materia. Shit. Um, shit. Fifteen percent damage on unique abilities is pretty crazy. Five thousand adds like, you know, like seventy five hundred damage or something like that. I'm sorry, uh seven hundred and fifty damage. Uh, there's a little chicken! these things, bro. These guys from the beginning of the game, let's see how powerful I become. Yeah. 
this Gorgon? I got you. Dragons that possess venom sacs in their cheeks and jaws. Destroying their jaws when they use poisonous haze will interrupt the attack and pressure them. The hell? What? That sound effect, though. Damn, when Tifa is pissed, Tifa is pissed. Holy hell. She really pissed. I need to assign this new move to Kate Sith. Hold on a second. Combat settings. Kate. Dodge and dive. Let's ride. Roll of the dice. I'll, I'll go to the menu for dice roll. Give me... Google Knuckle. I was about to go fight these dudes. This deer's taking a bath over here, man. Deers don't bathe. Get out of here, crazy deer. Nidhogg Grotto. Get that. Valkyrian Bangle. Whoa. Getting some crazy stuff now. And 3,000 bucks. What are we getting on this Valkyrian Bangle? All right. Well, that's just better than what I currently have. It's just better. Holy hell. Um, can we stick on you, Cloud? Probably empowerment, right? can always try empowerment. Yeah, this gear is starting to become very good. Quite good. Magic focus. Uh, oh no. My saber doesn't even use this shit. Oh man, I didn't even notice. Well, the least I can do is this. Uh. And do I got some vid up or spirit up or luck up? Yeah, might as well throw that in there. Okay. Rubby. Hey, man, come on. What's with this?
Chicken? We're gonna get this chicken. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi. This Gorgon. It's so fat. It began to produce a deadly toxin. This toxin is found in its cheeks and jaw and can be stored in large quantities. It's created from the insects that form a staple of the Discorgon's diet. The toxin's properties vary from species to species and are dictated by the type of insects consumed. Uh -huh. This variant, for instance, is capable of paralyzing its prey, so caution is advised. Nevertheless, we mustn't let such dangers deter us. <laughs> Got me some wrestling materia. Okay, sec chat. Uh, let me go whack it. Oh my god, it's smacking the hell out of me. Um, that secretes a variety of substances from debilitating venom to a self-empowering serum, destroying its jaw when it uses petrifying mist will interrupt the attack and pressure it. Okay. Kate said just sitting there like a G. Maybe not so much like a G. Unlimited MP. Um, I'm actually curious on the other synergy abilities. Google first class, right? Well, I don't have healing on cloud. Oh shit. Pressure and stagger might be really tough on this guy. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt. Huh. So you need to save up like several abilities when he's doing um the petrification thing. You need a lot. At least it seems that way. Where's my health at? Compromised. Me. Thank you. 
Oh, the jaw. It's gone. That was very weird. Retry. Weird. Maybe it missed. I gotta be like, I think, right in front of his face. Can't do blade burst in the air, can I? Jesus, Tifa. That's braver the jaw. Braver. It didn't work again. Um, damn, dude, you really have to hit this shit fast, right? If you don't hit it extremely fast, it does not come out. It has to be like immediate. I'm pretty sure braver will do it, but. Ow. Roll the dice in this mother. Abilities. Google Knuckle. Abilities Braver, the Jaw. Finally! Deal with that. Uh, Moogle Knuckle. There we go. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Dude is so dead. Punched him in the jaw. Ugh. Well, that was fun. Uh, Kate Sith is just so wacky. Okay. Big dudes are still over here. I see bunnies. Uh. Oh, okay. Mind if I do? Enhanced Garm Bangle. Ayy, that's pretty great. One of three, huh?
Is it on this whole platform? Yeah, it is. Okay. Aha! Enhanced Resplendent. Chocobo refuses when there's dickheads abound. Star shower these bitches. Okay. <laughs> okay. Blah. So close. So close. You can I make planet spirit? That's good. Expedentionary metal? Some stuff in there. That was it. Uh, planet's favor. I'm maxed out on it, though. Planet Spirit. Just make those. Yggdrasil Armlet. A Divine Heartwood, and damn, does it take a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. An expedentionary metal. Increases the limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. Whoa. That's going to be good for some shit. Did I miss it? Increases limit level by one at the start of battle. Shit. Shit. King Zoo Feather. I'll make this too. Just make it. We don't have it. Okay. Some interesting stuff in there. we can land. Another one of these things. Chadley's just over here saying shit. I'm here fighting dudes. Chadley, we know all too much about Sunset Zukin. Don't worry. I had to deal with it. I understand fully how it works. God damn, bro. Bro. Ah, damn. There's ruins in here. So cool.
Uh oh. Square square. Triangle triangle. Circle X. Circle X. Okay. First tried it. Official Shattuck, thank you. And uh Peppy, Axel, Democracy Get Some, Torch, Musashi, Morcus Borcus, appreciate it, everybody. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna put Odin on Kate Sith so we can start using these things. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I want to start using Odin. But Kate Sith can actively use these things, right? Is Odin not equipped on anybody? Oh god, it's not. Tifa, you need that Odin. You have like Ramu? That's weak. Ramu's mad weak. Come on. Let's give you Odin. Uh, wait. Tifa gets Bahamut Arisen. And Kate gets Odin. And I'm gonna Odin the shit out of some poor creature. I'm gonna go to some poor bird and Zansetsuke in its ass. Hiya! Right here. So what are we looking for? Uh, there's another thingy over here. And a chicken stop. I can probably use that, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Bort graffiti. Right, I noticed that too. Like, a, is this a Simpsons reference? <coughs> El Barto? That's all the life springs. Oh shit. Good news, Cloud. That life spring yielded information on a very rare fiend. The King Zoo rules the skies of Nebel, and now we know where it roosts. Well, that's why. Seeing as this talent is causing trouble for the black robes, I suggest that you clip its wings. And that is what I use it on. Gonna save summon for that. On that island, apparently. Oh, is this tower not gotten? Yet? It isn't. Mind if I do. If that's not a tower, I don't know what is. No.
Here we go. Wait, I can't use Moogle magic here? Crap. Damn it. Tifa can just rain down hell from above, though. You know, that works. Odin's too big? Tell me Odin's got a Ridley problem? He's too big? Good. Is that the reactor all the way up there? I think it is, because you could see all these islands and stuff from the reactor. You could see all this shit. Yeah, it totally is. There's some spots up there we can get like a clear view all the way down. Uh... Kate's golden megaphone. I don't think it really matters because we don't have any really linked slots. So, screw it. Chicken time. Where we gotta go? What the hell is up here? This is definitely a boss area, but we ain't got no boss yet. I thought it was the King Zoo. Funny. Gotta be something. How many of these do I have? 27? You're really gonna make me get all of them, aren't you? Chicken stop. That's a decent amount of choker grass, I suppose. Well, what do you think? Should we take it back to the safe? Oh, that's all I needed. They don't they don't make me get all of it. But what if I did? I think my favorite sword to use for Cloud was the Dark Knight sword. I thought it was pretty sick. Big purple glowing Dark Knight sword. Because its ability was amazing. Yeah, this chocobo's fun. Uh oh. Is it? Is it really? You tell me. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna click this thing. I'm gonna find out. Oh, that's a huge ass bird. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna see what's wrong with you. Weakness is lightning. Maybe a creature with blood red feathers that rules the skies above Nibel, boasting excellent hunting skills that descends on prey with a mighty shriek. When it finishes performing its swan song, a single attack against it will deal lethal damage. What? Um, destroying its wings in the middle of swan song will interrupt it and pressure it. Okay. <laughs> I 
Oh damn, dude. It can be poison. Shit. Oh no! What do I do? Three is all I'm guaranteed. Whoa, dude. Jesus, man. Oh my god, brother. Jesus, this shit's crazy. This shit's crazy. Swan song again, dude. Let's go. Damn. It said came in clutch there. Well, that was cool. I think it meant it does lethal damage to me, <laughs> not to it. I was like, yeah, I'll just smack it after this. Oh God, we're all dying. <laughs> oh no. Random Mog Metal in there. There's a lot of these Mog Metals, man, throughout the world. A lot. So, we got a spring up here. Cliffs of Abjuration. Cool. Little POI. Is it down there? The hell? Oh, right, there it is. Chicken. Everyone's cramming their chickens up here, dude. So funny. You have to account for like eight party members and their chickens. Me. 
pretty. Hang back. Jesus Christ. Uh, they're weak to ice, right? Jesus, God. Ha! Tifa's casting another comet. Just comet on top of comet on top of comet, huh? Cool looking cave. Shot it. Pick it up, man. About this thing. It has been said that the land of the dead lies just beyond Mount Evil. From this belief arises the conception of Odin as a gatekeeper of the afterlife, one who turns away all whose time has not yet come. That was why Tifa thought she could save her mom. Uh, give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. Monster disappear? The heck it did? Or did we get beat up and die? What? <sighs> they literally solo it? This is one hell of a clip, chat. They soloed it? Ripley feeling better? She's getting there. Yeah, she's definitely getting there. She was having some rough nights, so she needed some dad help. All right, AFK Gaming. What do we have here? The whole reason we are climbing up here. Yes. Do it. Some of the foggy areas you can't explore yet. Some of those are like mountain ranges. Circle, XX, square. Square, triangle, triangle, circle. So circle, XX, square. Square, triangle, triangle, circle. Okay. 
Jeez. Triangle XX circle? I just missed... The oh. Square triangle triangle. Square triangle triangle circle. Okay. Okay. Triangle... I just missed the timing. Square triangle triangle circle. <clears throat> My brain. Okay. Square triangle triangle circle. There we go. Stupid brain. Need to wake up. Look it up. Look it up. Odin's junk here. Get out of here, man. Not very flattering angle. Yeah, it's gotten a lot harder since the beginning. That's for sure. I've managed to analyze all the crystals located in Evil. Thank you for your help. Odin will serve as a powerful ally. Whisking your foes away to the land of the dead. Hopefully I'll randomly summon Kate Sith and I'll use in Zatsetsuken or some crazy thing. Uh Okay. Now we need to go. Let's check out what's going on with the proto relic. Curious what this is. It's always been Nibelheim. Nibel. <clears throat> uh, there they are. Yo, Astalos, thanks for the five gift subs. Hey, you guys, get a move on. Or I'll start pushing you. Where do you think these In your synchronous walking. Y'all, in your synchronous walking. Get a move on. I said, get a move on. Come on. Start moving. Seriously, guys, you take forever. We need to get the whole party to start pushing. Get your ass moving. Yo, he doesn't answer. Come on, guys, get moving. Seriously. Y'all need to get moving. Pro did not answer. <laughs> you must be cooking. Yeah. All that black's got to be stifling. Oh, it is. Trust and believe. Hotter than a friggin' oven. I still can't believe they managed to cross the desert in those get-ups. Pretty crazy. Some did. Not all. We ran into a bunch before you joined, Yuffie. In Midgar? I saw my fair share when I was there, too. Never came across him before that, though. Now that I think about it. Live next to him for a bit. Come on, guys. Get in the damn door. I know where we're going. Or not.
Oh, come on. Huh? What do you think they're pointing at? There's a submarine dock beneath the harbor. Maybe that. I bet you that's where we'll find the proto relic. Oh, I see. Make us go and fish it out. Submarine dock? Would be by sea. And Selena's got us covered. Whoa, what in the hell? Huh? Submarine dock, what are we talking about here, dude? Talking about bunnies. Talking about onions. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh God. This is interesting. Just a couple of demons and dogs. Ow, I gotta beat off my friggin' chicken. Ow, shit. Damn it, dude. Uh, we need to change the Tifa so she can whoop that ass. Cloud. Now, I got a new thing to, uh, crank this up. Cloud is getting his ass kicked. Holy free holy! Dude, gra Gravagia? That was intense. Uh, Gravagia, very intense. Jesus, you got messed up, dog. Okay. I'll have to use prey or something. We'll get off the chicken. In fact, does Cloud have prayer on him? He does, okay. I gotta use prayer with Cloud. Uh, any swords you missed will be available in the next shop. Any swords that you might have not gotten? I can't even remember where the heck this one was. It was up on Mount Nabel somewhere. But you get them in the next shop, so the game doesn't let you miss any weapons. You could be able to buy it, but yeah. Whoa, what just happened? The shadows just loaded in? Jeez. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god, that counterfire didn't work. It's going poorly. It's going poorly because Cloud's poison is really bad. Roll the dice. God, dog. So funny how, like, things can go so well and then they can go so bad. They can go so well and they can go so bad so fast. I guess that's the sign of, uh, 
That's the sign of the scaling difficulty. Why did I come over here? Huh? I think there's a bunch of nothing. Oh, wait, there's chicken water. There is chicken water. I saw that chicken water. Oops. Where the heck are we even going? Surely I wasn't just for these boxes. <clears throat> oh, was that what we were supposed to do? We were supposed to go around? Cheat. Well, that thing looks dangerous. Three of them. Stop! Ate those dudes. God damn. Okay. What are we looking at? Okay. This is good. This is good. Just getting tossed around. This is good. Oh, Tifa's just casually casting Comet over here. And slide. Was that the PS1 Moogle? It was. PS1 Moogle's in there. Hey, Cloud? Yeah? These guys in Sephiroth are related somehow. Like, connected on some really weird deep level, right? Seems so. Seems so? I don't have proof, just a hunch. But the more I see, the more I know I'm right. Just one more reason why we gotta put a stop to that crazy bastard. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> I simply wanted to inform you that I've located more roped individuals. Copy. Send us the coordinates. Of course. Right away. Did they explain why Red's voice changed? No, it changes with no explanation. Zero explanation. It just happens, and uh, everyone's confused. Uh, can I go back to here? Aha, yeah. What was on this side? There was another... So there's some more chicken water. Over here? Check on this chicken water right here. Feeling this is going to be like a weapon or something like that. What? In the submarine? What? 
Is this a teaser? Disempowerment materia earrings. Well, there was something good in here. Huh. I was right. Yeah, there is something up here. Okay. Cool. Uh, I want to go fight something. I'm sucking at fighting things. <coughs> here. Chicken time. Fast loading. Thank you, game. Have I used a grenade? I haven't. Let's use one right here, right now. I'm gonna throw a, a big-ass grenade. Let's do it. I have a pile of them from this entire friggin' playthrough. I'm gonna throw a grenade. I'm gonna do it. Oh, God. Uh-oh. It seems we've crossed into fiend territory. Look alive, people. Rare Valron variant detected. Valron. Same guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of this variant is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Maka reactor was constructed. Because of its humanoid form, there were rumors at the time Demons. that these were actually humans who had undergone a horrific transformation due to Mako exposure. Setting aside the veracity of these claims, one thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincided with the Valron's appearance. This could be a good opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. By beating the shit out of them. I'm low on health. I don't give a fuck. I'll pray first. Oh shit. Uh, now we got to ass ass. Oh god. Um, exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Okay. Let's get you to stop doing that. Tifa, what's your new crazy thing? Unfettered fury. Damn, Tifa. What happened to these dudes? What happened to these dudes? What even happened? Oh my god. Okay, so I have to pressure y'all. Um, they, they almost died. To, I forgot the grenade. You've completed all combat assignments in Nebel. No doubt thanks to my quality guidance. Also forgot the grenade. Very important. I need to adjust the speech frequency setting. No! Stop him, Cloud! He's trying to silence me! Anyway, thanks to your hard work, Cloud, I was able to devise another combat trial. I'm confident this one will pose quite a challenge. The blizzard explosion missed so it didn't pressure? God damn it. Well, they're they're easy, so we can get right in here. Yeah, it like knocked him down. Oh shit. You gotta stop moving, bro. You really gotta stop moving. I'll get pressured. Sound effects, dude. <laughs> so we, my boy. Tifa just casually commenting everything. The grenade! Don't worry about it. 
Any second now that grenade's coming out. I was too focused on the other objectives and engaging the gameplay. <laughs> All right. Sick of your bullshit, chat. Sick and tired of your horse shit. Here we go. Going over here. I'm going to cash this in. Who needs the black materia when I can casually cast Meteor at all times? Can I rest here? Oh, you get your hands on that choco grass. Some folks also call it the floating flower. They don't mean it metaphorically. It really floats above water. I noticed. Makes it hard to get to. With Selena, though, you'll glide over that water with the greatest of ease. I did. Here's all that good shit. Here's all your choco kush. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass, this stuff got <laughs> a hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? Oh. I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please. He's literally going to get... It's drugs. Hold your chocobo, son. <clears throat> There's still one thing you need to do for me. Literal first. drugs. What a surprise. This geezer isn't going to tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. What? And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. We gotta race this man? I'm I'm near death. Give me a second. What do I do about this near deathness? You got any choco grass? Thanks. If you find it now, how about plumes? What can I get with that? The grass? Oh. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go. Thank you, though. <laughs> Give me a second, chat. I know this is a handful, but talking to JJ. Hold on. I got to. Uh, there's a. Uh, we were. I ordered a burger, and <laughs> I'm gonna go eat. I don't want to eat it on stream. Sorry, chat. I'm denying you. You weird bastards. Let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna beat his ass. Where the hell did he go? He's in the corner. You prepared to undertake the final trial? Yes. Chocobo armband. Let her rip. <laughs> it's an actual race. Destroy the drug lord chicken sage. That's the plan. Oh my god.
the hell out of my way, old man. Oh my god, he's fast. AF. Oh, that's the wrong button! Where's my drip button, dog? Oh no. Okay. What is this aqua lung? Uh, how do I use it? There's, there's so much crazy stuff happening on this track that I can't even pay attention. Okay. Dear God. How do I shoot this? Okay, I've shot it. Oh. Kiss my ass, old man. Okay. I have a lot of these dashes. go I'm kind of worried here he's scheming in the background oh no he's way back there dude okay he, he, yeah he got destroyed by that thing we got lodged up on a box somewhere. Take that, old man! Chicken oh, reefer smoke. Feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Kirkules, thank you. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm, how you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself. And clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. 
Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? Money! I guess... <clears throat> I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. And money! The chocobos brought us a lot of fun. And brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important. So don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. How are you All getting there, by the way? Show up <laughs> and win. By the way, how are you getting to that golden saucer? Dang, look at this pool. I'm jumping in it, shit. Everyone get in this shit. Yeah, check it out. Get in here, Barrett. Come on, dog. Barrett and you if you don't want to jump in the pool. Damn, dude, look at the tile work. Jeez. It was actually all green and funky before. Yeah, now it's like all pixel art. Cute. That's cute. <sighs> um, hmm. Proto Relic is down there. I need to go rest, dude. My ass is beat up. Let's do it here. Although, I, I feel like dealing with the mogs at the moment. Barrett, get in the pool. Yeah, we're pretty much almost done with Nibel. We got a couple more fights, that's about it. We already did Odin, we already did the big fight. We just gotta finish out the, uh, Proto Relic quests, which are going kinda quick. Let's see. Oh, really? Well then, how the hell do I get over there? Oh god. Bunnies? Damn, dude, where the hell is this thing? I don't know if I got the play arts figure down here yet. Those might be tough to find. Monk house. Come on, get over there. Oh dear. The last one? This goddamn minigame. The last one? Let's first try this shit. Right here, right now. Let's just, let's just first try this. No problem. Okay. Would you mind rounding up all the Mooglets for me? Yeah. Sure I will. I'm sure I'll have a great time. Alright, what are we looking at? They're already attacking. Ew, why would you? Oh, uh, what? Dude, where are you going? My God. This is crazy. No, 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 you better stay in there, dog. No? You get in there. No! Okay, okay, that's, that's, that's a good angle. God.
You would. Okay, I gotta hit this person on the, uh, the dust wind. Wow, I get over there. Yoink. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh my sweet Jesus. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to go a long way. Hell yeah, dude! Hell, hell yeah. Okay. Played it safe. One day, these Mooglets will inherit that legacy, like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present. Here's this for you. Knights of the Round materia. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Koopo? Go on now, be good hosts, and show our guests how it's done. <laughs> what are they going to do to me? Oh my god, I have to fly. I don't believe it. Gotta eat more nuts. Koopo. Koopo po. <laughs> this is the reward. This is the big reward. I was gonna say, if this is a costume I could wear while fighting. If this is a costume that they... they give me while fighting. This took you an hour? I'm sorry. Hey! Completionist shit. Now that we've been reunited, the Mooglets and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Also, we found a bunch of rare and exotic items you won't want to miss out on. Yeah. See for yourself, Koopo. Koopo. All right. I think it's just the proto relics left. <gasps> Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo. What do you got now? The Mog Amulet increases the probability enemies will drop items when defeated in battle. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Um, rubies. I don't need more rubies and emeralds and sapphires, dog. I definitely think I can use some elixirs. This is it, right? We're done. Hey, why, why not? So we can get elixirs out of it. Okay. I have a Did lot of metals. Like I've done a lot of exploration. Okay. Don't judge me. I've looked around at a lot of shit. Okay, uh, proto-relic time. 
Okay. I can't wait to not use any of these elixirs. I can't wait. This is definitely the best Chocobo, dude. Definitely the best one. Wait. Something's not right. Uh-oh. It's happening. Jesus Christ! Okay, Tifa. Oh, I have not actually asked, asked you all. That sound. <laughs> Looney Tunes ass sound effects. Mutated beings that somehow fuse with the people in black robes protecting, protected by a tough exoskeleton, a myriad of appendages. They stalk towards their prey, slashing as they go. No weaknesses. Ow, fool. Shit. Hey! On it. Oh, damn, brother. At least my Mog is still doing work. That hit me? He fell asleep. be doing in a place like this unless no well now this i did not expect my precious specimens and you chadley model number CDA 6, was it? Or 7, perhaps? One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha! Yes, lucky number 7. What? You and your brothers are just full of surprises, aren't you? <laughs> Don't be shy now. Open up and let me see what makes you tick. There's a good boy. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. I'm fine. It seems our rogue friends are on the move again. You'd best follow closely behind. I would hate for any of them to run afoul of one of Hojo's experiments. Please, keep them from harm. Ha! Weird. Is this gonna come around to Chadley too? Oh no. Alright guys, move it move it or lose it. <clears throat> this is a big slope, y'all. <laughs> you slow bitches.
I can't even push him. Oh, you don't have to wait for these guys. You can just run up. Oh, that makes sense. Demonic entity. What the hell? What? Oh, uh, weak to ice. Not exactly difficult. Sacrifice that mog. Necrotic entity. I'm getting used to Kate Sith, I kinda like him. He does a lot of damage. Hey. That group from before. Where'd they go? Killed by fiends, maybe. Been forced to fuse with them. Hojo's dead. Uh oh, these creepos. God damn. God damn, bro. It's just the opposite side where we were at before. Got any idea what's up here? <clears throat> Old lighthouse. Among other things. Never checked it out myself, though. I wonder if there's a tea room. A what? A tea room. In Wutai, you can't throw a ninja star without hitting at least a couple, you know? Tea's always free. The food, on the other hand, that's how they get you. That's so. Well, I don't think we're gonna find one here. Or anywhere else nearby. Oh... Hey, moving you two. Oh, you can actually make this go faster. You can actually like repeatedly push. Oops, not that direction though. <laughs> Align the markers. What? Oh, I see. Oh, I don't need to box. I don't need to hit these anymore. These just have like mock metals in them. Damn it! And a grenade. Now they're taunting me. Now you're just taunting me. Did 
couldn't put it now. Why is Tifa constantly using Comet? Because she's doing well. Because that's what I told her to do. This Valveness. Oh my god, huge puzzle. Or not. <laughs> or not. Uh... Okay. Damn it, now it's gonna take me several moves. It affects all of them. Okay. Oh! Doesn't affect that one. Mother Pfeiffer. It only moves the middle. Son of a- I thought it did all of them. Could have done it in two moves. Puzzle God. That's where every streamer gets stuck. They don't continue past that part. Whoa, an Ari man. I guess it's lightning. Oh my god. Well, you're dead. Oh, my ATB boost isn't ready yet. Okay. Let's get Cloud up first. That shit hurts. Weakness was lightning, yeah. Jesus, now Kate Sith is dead? Now everybody is dead. Jesus Christ. All right. Thing is no joke suddenly. Check it out, okay? Who didn't get it? Uh it's a can you find it? Now I have a chance to do Mixed Giga Potion? Dang, bro, it's immune. Well, now you're dead. You let Tifa hit you when you're staggered, now you're dead. Did they multiply? 
Oh no. Broden? <clears throat> Broden. Hey, step out of it. Wait, the guy from Calm? Is he Mako poisoned? No, he's a former soldier. It calls to me. I must answer. He was getting treatment in Evilheim too? You good? Come. I found another gathering of these individuals. The largest yet. It would appear that they're headed for the coastline. Do you think you could investigate for me? Will do. It's time. Time we checked it out. This is all side quest. Yeah, this is all completely optional. We never would have found out what happened to Broden. Um, you never played the OG. Why is this so depressing? Uh, the OG is pretty dark, man. It's it's a game that balances its extreme humor with like a, a lot of very dark storytelling stuff. And creepy, like, Resident Evil space horror stuff. <clears throat> um, okay. Let's hit up this Choco stop. Oh, wait. Snapsu? Did I take a picture of this already? I think I did. I just have to report back to Snaps. I think I just got to bring it back to snaps. I didn't, I didn't go here yet. We'll find out. <sighs> I don't think I did. Um, Jesus Christ, Barry, get out of the way. That's not what I wanted to do. I couldn't hide my chicken. Couldn't hide the chicken, huh? Sit my butt down here. Hold on a second. <laughs> FF6 is really good too. There's a lot of similar. FF6 is made by the exact same people that made FF7. If you want to know, like, if you want three RPGs that you're guaranteed to probably like if you like JRPGs, FF6, Chrono Trigger, and FF7 are made by the, like, pretty much the same teams all the same teams of people so they like have a really good balance of lighthearted and and dark elements the dream team as as is commonly referred to
Technically eight as well. I mean, I think so. I mean, they might make it. Maybe. Guys are nothing if not tenacious. Where are they even trying to go? That island. That's where they're being called. What? How do you know that? I... Uh... Got a feeling, is all. That's good enough for me. Let's check it out. Oh, knows. Oh my god, look at them all. spooky Why are they all interested in the proto relic? What is this? Side quest, by the way. An eccentric swordsman, I got goosebumps, who covets the proto relics. Little else is known about him other than his pro prodigious skill in combat and his unfortunate tendency to be dragged across dimensions. Perfectly blocking his attacks will cause him to stumble? Oh, let's go, dog. Okay. That didn't work. I think this was the fire. That was not good. Got it. Oh, 
dog! Ow! Well, that was cool. Find me the black material. <laughs> he like leans in. Stop doing side quests, Cloud. Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing side quests, Cloud. Side quests are so good. That's the most unside questy side quest like ever. What the hell? He was passed out. What the hell? I'm trying to fight you. What's that all about, huh? You did it, Cloud. I commend you for collecting that proto relic. At this rate, the remaining one will be in our possession in no time. Right. Yeah. We have to find it. And soon. That's the one that's back at uh Corel. Well, that was Cool. All right. Uh, do I got to go turn in this snaps quest? Let's do this real fast. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal Okay. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting here for story time now. Story. New Queen's Blood. Uh. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association, your talents are inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. Wait a minute. Undiscovered. Incomplete. Huh. So that's Mount Nebel. It cuts a rather stern and imposing figure. The ragged bone now running in the sky. Oh. Well, we can't do much about that now. Can't do much about that now. Maybe I'm missing one in Corel? Oh, Sid's just here just like waiting for us. Hey! Stood up? Nope. Waiting on you folks. Something I wanted to ask. Huh?
About your mother. Her name's Ifalna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Tell me, how's she doing? Good? No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up as a gopher for some lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? Probably. You were knee-high to a tonberry. And I was what? Called the smogger, I'd wager. It's Aerith. Aerith, is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? Uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than plenty. Thanks. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine, we'll pay. No, it's on me. When you want to head to the saucer, just give me a holler. Sid's character is a lot different and less of a, an abuser than he was before, because that was his, like, whole character as a man that lost his dreams and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> abuser um and now they make him this like gung-ho sort of like pilot very audacious pilot right i don't think they're gonna take away like the shara thing eventually but <laughs> if people want him to be more mean yeah it's definitely different but i'm not disliking it right that's the that's the thing he's off he's not the same sid sid was a very unlikable in the OGFF7, right? In in many ways. But at the same point, it's like they changed his character from the OG to this one. And I don't hate it. You can acknowledge that it's 100% different. Yeah, they're trying to Han Solo him. That's a really good way of putting it. That's a really good way of putting it. They're trying to Han Solo him. Yeah, all right. I, I, I get what you mean. And that's why he's still charming. That's why he's still, you know, that's why he's obviously not the same character as before. That's a good point. And that's actually a great archetype for Sid. Hey, good to go. Let's get a move on then. We obviously don't know any of his story about, you know, the space program and everything. What? You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Unfinished. Holy business. shit. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give him the boot? Try to screw us over? And you're a dead man. Please, take a seat. He does the same sitting pose. <laughs> Do you think you can manage eight? Ain't gonna lie. That's a tall order for most pilots. Oh, God damn. This game is magical, dude. Lucky for you, I ain't most pilots.
This game is friggin' magical. No one has seatbelts, dude! Both engines, though? Both engines? That's <laughs> kind of shocked. Dude, what happened to the plane, dog? What is this, a Boeing? Topical. Damn, bro. Okay, let's start her up. Sounds good. Yeah, but the wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land, air, and sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so? So you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye, aye. <laughs> Let's set sail. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we hit it. Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. Roger that. Full speed ahead. And that's how they introduced the tiny Bronco. 
Oh. Oh. Mind filling us in on the Keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company records, the Keystone was housed there. Wait a second. Hydro Thunder? So, the museum turned out to be a photo flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But it's some Wow. Cool. Cool to see how all the continents are connected. If you cut the ribbon and board it up the windows, the keystone vanished at the thin. This is so cool to see the other parts of the map. To see the map from this different perspective. This is so sick. Hey, see, did I hear right? You used to work for Shinra. Still do, on occasion. The boys got their uses. That's going to be a problem. You see, we don't take kind friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. Man who tries to lord his power over me is gonna wish he didn't. That's what's appealing about the skies. And I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Never much cared for the squeaking anyways. <laughs> I miss the wild blue yonder dearly. What? Dog, where am I going? Oh my god, we're here! Huh. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, but wait, there's a chicken thing over there I missed! Son of a bitch! This is so cool, dude. The scale of the world has once again changed. It's so sick to see these parts of the map that we didn't see before. The beach! <laughs> the beach! Sorry, I guess I can't pull up on the beach. I'm gonna go in through here and make it real dangerous. Ah, okay. Okay. The hell is that? Pirate chest thing. Damn, dude. It's so cool. How they integrated the tiny Bronco. Oh my god. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. <laughs> Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> We're gonna keep slapping Cloud. Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey, y'all are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. Everyone's joining! What do you think? Of course. 
Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? Up there. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> He's talking about you, Clyde. You mean me? <laughs> <laughs> now that the tiny Bronco is able to cross the Meridian Ocean, you can fast travel to any location on the map accessed with the thingy. To board the tiny Bronco, speak to Sid at the nearest port to select the vessel from the map screen. The SRC's declaration of war against Shinra was the shot heard round the world, unsettling folks everywhere. Check the notice boards as you travel to locations both old and new to see if anyone needs a hand for hire. Game! I just did all the side quests, dog! I, you can't, there can't be even more content. You cannot be cramming more insanely high quality side quests at me. This game will never fucking end. It's crazy. The Golden Saucer has a new set of renovations and mini games. Try revisiting familiar locations and seeing what new challenges await. Note that some mini games will not be updated until certain conditions are met. Anything else? Good Lord, man. What is this crazy shit? Do I have to fight to open the chest? Oh, no way. Hey, Cloud, let me see that. This reeks of sea salt, and not the fresh kind either. This thing smells ancient. Really? Yeah. Gramps told me about it once. Long ago, when most folks spent their lives at sea, a war broke out between some pirates. I mean, how do you think they came up with Pirate's Rampage? It's based on a true story. How about it? Want to hear? Yeah. Yes, like go that. on. <laughs> Gather round and hark to it. my tale. The four steel birds soared through the skies, and tracks wove across the land. Wooden ships. What is about to happen? One such ship was crewed not by men, but monsters, aliens, and high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, leaving crimson waters in their way. The world's oceans now his sole dominion. Their captain was declared the as for the king's treasure, ere his passing, he took his most prized possession, quartered it, and sealed those pieces away, along with his four finest mates, to forever stand by. Whatever he hid, this shit is so cool, it's making me fucking cry. In which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away seems to have filled them as well. Pirate King's treasure is now ours to see. The One Piece? So there's Yu-Gi-Oh! and One Piece references in here? And I for one can't wait! Dude, what the fuck? A Corsair's compass? Talk to the- uh, what, Jesus Christ, dude! This game is fucking crazy! I was already- it's already one of my favorite games ever, dude. You could chill. You don't need to keep going like this. It already is one of the best games I've ever played. Like, I don't get it. Uh, and it's getting better? It keeps going?